It's Sunday, July 21, with Pastor Chris Teachings. Our theme for today's article is Always in Victory. And our theme scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 2 verse 4. And it says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. Praise God. In 1 Corinthians 15, 57, Paul pens something similar to what we just read in our theme scripture. It says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are always in victory, hallelujah. This is the result of who we are in Christ and what we know, our knowledge of his word. Who are we? We are more than conquerors. We are born of God. In 1 John 4 verse 4 it says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. What do we know? In Romans chapter 8 verse 28 it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, and to them who are called according to his purpose. We know that come what may, no matter the situation where we find ourselves, nothing can be to our disadvantage. How could we lose with the Holy Spirit in us? Consider David, who didn't even have the Holy Spirit living in him as we do in Christ. He never lost a battle in his day. By the Holy Spirit upon him and his faith in the Abrahamic covenant, he won every battle. Our Lord Jesus already won victory over the world for us. And as he is, so are we in this world. Glory to God. Even as we find that in 1 John 4 verse 17. Keep these truths in your mind and meditate on them continually. The word says in Colossians 3 verse 17, And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Doing all things in his name means living in his name. That means you are living for him in his authority. Therefore, defeat, failure, and poverty can't be a part of your life. This consciousness should stir extraordinary boldness in your spirit such that you are totally unruffled by any crisis. Everything in life is subject to the power and authority of his name and because you live in his name, you always reign glory to God. Dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Alright, now let's take these confessions together and mean every word from the bottom of our heart. Please say with me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for my heritage in Christ. I'm always in victory. Everything I do prospers because I have the life of God in me and I've overcome the world. Thank you for giving me the name of Jesus to use and to live by. By the power and authority of that name, I make progress with giant strides today. With all of nature and everything that exists, working together in my favor. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, Please read 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 and 1 John 4 verse 4 and also 1 John 5 verse 4. And for more details, 